Hey guys, it's Robert here bringing you another one of my videos going over another Walking Dead deceased character today. We are going to go through The Walking Dead's first big bad, The Governor, also known as Philip Blake or Brian Blake. So, The Governor was of course male. He was played by the amazing David Morrissey. He did a really good job. Uh, in the pre-apocalypse, he was a middle management employee. He is an Irish American and first appeared in Walk With Me. Philip experienced a rough childhood and thus has a negative relationship with his father who is physically abusive to both towards him and his brother. At one point the pair were caught smoking a pack of cigarettes, his brother intervened taking the blame for their actions. Regardless it resulted in the two brothers getting beat up by their father. Philip grew up to become a family man having a beloved wife and a daughter named Penny where they lived together as a middle class family. Over time however Philip grew to become dissatisfied with his plain mediocre life where he worked as an office drone under a young, younger and unintelligent boss who frequently hounded him for several years. During one day at work, Philip received a phone call from, hospital, from the hospital informing that his wife has tragically died in a car accident. After the onset of the outbreak, Philip alongside nine other survivors barricaded themselves up in an apartment for an unspecific amount of time before they eventually moved out, picking up several new group, group members along the way, notably including Milton Mamet, Cesar Martinez and Shumpert. They eventually discovered the abandoned Woodbury. After they secured the town, Philip established a fortified community which gradually began to increase in numbers and through his manipulation he established his leadership role and became known as the Governor. The Governor eventually came across a mortally wounded Merle Dixon, whom though no noted his erratic behaviour, was impressed with his skill and thus appointed him as one of his lieutenants. In Season 3, we first see the Governor in Walk With Me, where he is checking the helicopter crash site. The Governor puts down one of the men and later finds when Andrea and Michonne are found by Merle and taken back, he gives the women a tour of his town, Woodbury. He talks to them about his science experiments going on with his pal, Milton, Later, he gets informed where Lieutenant Wells' men are, the pilot of the heli. So he goes to where the men are and guns them all down alongside his small army. Later, after having sex with Ro Ro Rowan, who is one of his lovers, he drinks some whiskey, looking at the heads in the fish tanks, including poor old Lieutenant Wells. So it's established that the governor is pretty much a psychopath. He soon talks with his... A concerned Michonne plays golf and flirts with Andrea. The governor brushes his zombie's daughter's hair and then deals with an infected, an incident of Michonne killing his walkers in the pits, to which he offers her a place on the research team. She has other plans and is and he is glad to see her go. Later, he shows Andrea his fight pits, using walkers to make the fight cooler. She isn't too happy with him. The governor also secretly sent Merle and a band of men to go hunt and kill Michonne. Andrea and the governor get together as she reveals she likes the pits. Soon Merle reaches, returns sorry, with Glenn and Maggie and he lies to the governor saying Michonne is dead and the other guys were killed by zombies and Michonne, even though Merle killed God Julio. The governor is later told the torture isn't going well so he goes to the room with Maggie, forces her to take her shirt off and gets very touchy with her. He soon returns her to Glen when Rick's rescue mission happens. The governor is seen defending the streets with Andrea and then finds Michonne with Penny. Michonne kills Penny, the two going in an awesome fight scene resulting in Ma Michonne stabbing some glass into his eye. <laughs> He gets patched up by Dr. Stevens and returns to his people where it is revealed he has captured Daryl and he knows Merle lied to him and, the, and the orders them to fight to the death. When the next rescue mission happened, the governor is seen looking badass again as Daryl and Merle escape. Later, he puts down Richard Foster's Foster when zombies attack and eat him, in a cold manner, scaring the town members. Soon he attacks the prison, killing Axel in the process and firing on them, releasing a truck of walkers before leaving. The governor is is enabled to arm most of the residents in Woodbury. He welcomes Tyrese and co and has more sex with Andrea. <laughs> However, she considers stabbing him in his sleep but backs out. Andrea arranges a meeting with Rick. The governor and Rick talk about stuff and he makes a deal asking for Michonne and then he'll stop attacking the prison. But it's revealed the governor really will kill her anyway and everyone else. The governor sets up some torture for Michonne and then is told 
by Tyrese and Sasha about Andrea jumping over the wall. He follows her in a creepy fashion, but she gets the upper hand as she makes it to the prison. However, the governor grabs her. He also finds someone burnt his walker pits, but the governor knows it's Milton. During the meet-up with Merle, af- uh, during the meet-up, Merle arrives with a lot of the governor's men. When Merle is stomped on by the governor's on by the governor, he, the governor fights him, biting his fingers off and then shooting him in the chest. In the finale, the governor beats up Milton, stabbing him and leaving him to turn with a tied up Andrea. That goes, the one, one will go anyway. He drops his awesome line that you, you either kill or you die, or you die and you kill. He then attacks the prison, gets flashbanged, thus his troops flee. He chases after them, they riot, saying they don't want to fight. And the governor goes full ape shit, gunning his entire army down, leaving just Alan Shumpert Martinez, but then shoots Alan in the head and goes on his merry way. And of course, Karen was hiding from him as well. In season four, he is seen watching the prison, t- prison signaling a flashback episode. Oh yeah, we got two of them. Anyway, the governor is ditched by his two men and becomes a hobo looking guy until he comes across Megan and Lily. He stays there for a bit, adopts the name Brian, helps get a board game, helps get some oxygen tanks for David, their father. Then David dies and he bashes his head in with the oxygen tank. The group flee, he bonds with Lily and has sex with her and becomes a father figure for Megan. Later, fleeing some walkers with Megan, he falls into a pit, killing them with his bare hands, a bone and some other stuff. Finding Martinez. He joins Martinez's group, but soon kills Martinez after a few scouting missions. He then goes to find Pete and stabs him, and then Mitch, but gets him on his side to operate because he wants him to operate the tank. He saves Megan too from a close zombie call. Anyway, he knocks out Michonne, and he has Herschel at gunpoint, kidnapping the two, taking them to his camp. He rallies his troops and arrives at the prison. Rick comes down to try and stop the attack from happening, giving an awesome comeback. Uh, to Rick's awesome speech. Liar. The governor hits Herschel with his sword, half decapitating his head. The battle begins. He's shot in the arm. In rage, he grabs the old farmer, whose head is not quite gone, and chops it off completely. He is then visited by Lily with a dead Megan, who was killed by a zombie. The governor coldly puts his new daughter down. The governor tells his men to kill them all, but it's stopped by Rick, and the two have an epic fight as the governor has Rick close to death, he receives a sword in the back. He crawls in pain as Michonne and Rick leave. Lily soon shows up with a gun, pointing it at the governor and firing it into his head, finally killing him. His body that is left on the prison grounds to rot. He also appears in Tyrese's hallucinations later on in season 5. The governor only lasted two seasons, but he was heavily present in both. Thus why this video is a little bit longer for a two season character. He was truly our first big bad guy The Walking Dead has produced and he's certainly remembered by all fans to this day of how cold and twisted he was. I love how the show tried to redeem him but showed he always went back to his murderous and sick ways. We will always miss him, but we know he had to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Any suggestions will be great and we'll and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.